flight attendant vlog my name is Nicole and this is that so Nicole welcome or welcome back I don't think so somebody left their lights on they're gonna be mad if they are at work because by the time they come back their car is gonna be dead okay so this is the start of a new flight attendant vlog and I am <laughs> today is December 6th and it was day one of a three-day a day reserve block so reserve you know on call and um i reported today to work at two o'clock it is now 6 39 i was released at 5 59 so i didn't get used today y'all i did not get used at all i'm just gonna go straight into the video because clearly i just did an intro and then just went straight into the video so it's cool and so i'm leaving work because they did not use me today and I kind of figured they was not going to use me today because <clears throat> it is the middle of the week. Today is Tuesday and it's never really, it's not a busy travel day per se. And then this time of the season is like when everything has slowed down, like really, really slowed down. And then it's gonna pick back up in about a week because Christmas in, is in two weeks. So in about a week or so, it's gonna pick back up. So I'm gonna take advantage of this time, <clears throat> this time off, this time not working um, because I know it's about to get hectic again. My next two days of, of reserve days, which will be Wednesday and Thursday, I actually do not have to work because I got personal paid time off approved. So technically your girl will be off for the next 10 days. So flight attendant vlog, <laughs> this is gonna be the next one and then y'all probably won't get another one until like a week or two after because I don't, I'm not working. And I'm not gonna pick up any trips like I have been doing because like I said, again, I'm gonna enjoy this time off. I actually have a French trip that is planned for this weekend coming up. So y'all will see y'all will definitely see this before the french trip so i don't care about speaking on it um because y'all will see the french trip after this so i'm actually going to use this time to finish doing some things that i need to do around the house and then taking care of some personal business that i need to take care of so everything actually worked out really really well and i'm glad that it went this way like i love working i y'all know i love flying Y'all know I like going <clears throat> to different destinations that I haven't been to and vlogging about it, but taking this little break, having this little break, and then I'm still getting paid for my days that I'm supposed to work, it just works out perfectly because that means I'm not I'm not missing out on any money either. So that's on that, y'all. That's on that. So while I was sitting on standby, I was actually working on some other videos and then just reviewing like my last couple of videos that I have been posting and kind of just reflecting on that um but since the new intro I would say that was back in uh, November I watched all my videos from from that on out and I was just like I was just like in awe of like how much growth I have 
gone through in just that little bit of time. And sometimes self-reflection is, is good. Like, not sometimes, it is. Self-reflection is good. And so I just took this time, the last four hours, to just like kind of um, reflect on everything <clears throat> that I've been able to accomplish within my personal and business aspects. And I've done a lot. Like, have you ever just sat back and like, you just sat back and reflected on, you know, the things that you've been through? Like, rather it's, you know, oh, it's so foggy. Like, you can't even see that plane. Like if you're going through like a tough time in your life and you know you, you're, you're going through an emotional roller coaster or whatever and you have a moment to just sit back and reflect on everything that has transpired that has led, <clears throat> led up to the moment where you're at now and then you realize that you grow, you've grown so much within the time frame that there's no need to be sad or beat yourself up or anything like that because you've grown so much and that's how I felt like just speaking on personal terms um I know this is supposed to be a flight attendant blog but like I said I don't have anything to show y'all so this is just gonna be talking so if you want to hear me talk and um just go over you know reflection and keep watching if not you know I'll Y'all can go ahead and log off or whatever, and I'll see y'all on the next vlog. But yeah, this, there's nothing else here after this, y'all, like literally. But I got some good gems, okay? So, yeah, so like I was saying, I just took this time to just reflect. From November 1st up until now, December, when I say today was December 6th, so much has transpired in my life. A lot of unexpected things that have transpired in my life. Unexpected I guess you could say bad things. In my in my head, they were bad things because I never saw the things that were coming. I never saw and the things that happened. I never saw them coming, but they happened. So it is what it is. It's life, right? And so I just look back at my videos, and if you didn't know me personally or you don't know me personally, then looking from the outside in you're looking at these videos and you're just like you wouldn't be able to tell and I was just like I did a really good job at pushing through especially on those days where I was really really down really really sad and I just did not want to I pushed through and I think about the time where uh, about two years ago when I was in a very dark place I did not pick up a camera I, I just like literally stopped everything I stopped all good things that were going for me because I was in my feelings and I didn't know how to get out of it I didn't know how to grow through my feelings I didn't know how to process them I just shut down and so when I say I reflect I'm reflecting on how things happened this time around versus what I did two years ago what I did two years ago and how much I've grown and it just amazes me because I think I even said in one of my videos I was like um, one of my weekly videos I was like you know I'm not really feeling like vlogging or you know doing anything today but I know this motivates me to keep going so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna push through it and two years ago I could not get myself to do that like I couldn't I couldn't speak myself up to say Nicole like there's so much more ahead for you you just got to keep you got to keep pushing and so I said all that to say like that's why self-reflection is so good like or reflection on anything is so good because you see how much how far you've grown and how far you've come from where you know where you started and then you know you just see the positive like even through the bad times you see the positive in those situations and like if you don't see the positive in it then that just means you have a lot more growing to do because there's always something positive to pull out of a bad situation no matter what it is and I was watching a friend's video today um, and she talked about her, you know, how how this year was for her. And this year was really tough for her. There was a lot of losses in her life, personal losses. And it just, it triggered an emotion in me because I dealt with a lot this year that I did not speak on. The bravery and the courage that she has, like, is something that 
just I inspire to be one day like I know I can speak on stuff but I'm just I'm still too emotional to speak on certain things but one day eventually I will because I know it can help the next person just like like I said watching her video it helps me um, and it encourages me to be able to speak on certain things so but when she spoke on like the losses that she's experienced this year it just triggered the emotion of the losses that I've had since 2019 and this year I started going to therapy again because I did experience a major loss this year and my therapist just brought to my attention like everything that I've gone through since 2019 there I've had a loss each year whether it was a person a career um you know an animal like I've had a loss each year and I haven't I wasn't able to fully grieve one loss before another one happened and so that's something that I learned earlier this year and that's something that I've been going through like the whole entire year like and nobody would ever y'all wouldn't even know if I didn't speak on it because again when I look back at my videos I'm like dang like you really did a good job at masking or internalizing those emotions at that moment to get through what you needed to get through and so I just have to give myself kudos and I just have to like really um, celebrate myself and you know give myself a pat on the back for being able to move through certain situations that makes me appreciate <clears throat> It just made me appreciate where I'm at now in life and I remember talking to my mom like a couple weeks ago and she was um she was just like you know I was just all in my feelings and I was just like I ain't got this I ain't got that and she was like what you got my mom y'all know my mom y'all know my mom y'all I mean my mother I call her the Puerto Rican Madea okay that should tell you enough um, but my mother is like she keeps it real 100% she's very blunt she's very nurturing but she's very blunt and she's gonna tell you how it is and she's going you're gonna have a couple of bruises and whatever but then she's gonna bring the band-aids to bandage you up like that's just how she is and it is what it is right so you know I was just all in my feelings like oh my god I ain't got this I ain't got that I'm this age and blah you know just beating myself down and she was like what what you don't have what you got me you got your friends you got your family you got you know there's people out here I mean she just started reminding me of why I shouldn't have even said that in the first place and yes that's how I was feeling at that moment but even now when I look back at you know what I said what I said in that moment I mean those were my feelings right then and there but I know that's not what I meant and I even said it to her like I apologize because that's definitely not what I meant it's just how I was feeling in that moment because of the certain situation that was happening um, but like I said just reflecting over everything today as I sat on standby um, for those four hours just really helped me appreciate um, moments the hard times that I've gone through you know within this last month and reminded me of how far I've came since 2019 since like a lot of stuff started happening in my life so yeah I just want to come on here and talk I mean I have this long drive I have all this energy because I did not work today like physically I did not work at all and um yeah I just want to get on here and just talk about that just talk about how you know if you are going through a hard situation right now or you've been going through or you're you know you're being hard on yourself about certain things that are going on in your life you know just take a moment to sit back and really reflect on how much you've grown how far you've came and your journey and whatever journey it is that you're going through right now and it'll help you appreciate where you're at right now and it'll help you realize you know how far you have grown and then no you'll be able to move forward you'll be able to move on and whatever is for you will be for you whatever is supposed to whoever's supposed to be in your life you'll understand fully and you won't be so 
uh, emotional about those that walked out of your life and you have no understanding of why they walked out of your life. This is, <laughs> I've been talking for almost 17 minutes. That's so crazy. One day I'll be able to talk about certain things that have affected me in 2022. Okay, one day I will be able to maybe it might be you know the end of this year Maybe I don't know. I don't know when but it will be but until then I feel like I, it was just It was just on my heart and on my mind to be able to speak on this on this type of subject And I feel like me sitting there for four hours not having to physically work Allowed me to do what I needed to do which was self-reflect so that I stopped internalizing all of these negative emotions and get out of my head about why things happen the way they did because they happen the way they did because that's how God saw fit for it that's it that's it <laughs> you know what I'm saying that is it I have no control over at the end of the day I have no control over you know what is to come and what is supposed to happen will happen and it's all in God's time and God's will and that's what I know you know but I'm human and I have feelings and he knows that like I always say God be up there just having a good old time like laughing and you know like he ain't laughing because I'm hurt but he be laughing like I tried to tell you but you ain't want to listen to me so now you sitting up here but it's okay because I know you, you gonna be fine you know what I'm saying so yeah it is what it is but anyways y'all I will see y'all I guess in 10 days when I when I go back to work this is crazy y'all I cannot believe I'm off for the next 10 days but yeah this is the life of a flight attendant this is the, the, the better days the good days you know what I'm saying the good days all right well I will talk to y'all if you made it this far thank you so much for sticking around and listening to me talk and speak on certain things um I hope you got something out of this and if not it's all good if you feel like this video might help the next person um then go ahead and send it to them as well but yeah until the next time y'all i will talk to y'all later make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and make sure that that notification bell is on so that you do not miss when i post okay all right until next time i'll see y'all later bye